What's up, man? Your boy Geek, man. Hey, man, the Lions just got that boy Harrison from the Giants a couple days ago, man. Uh, to make the 50-man roster, to cut it down, we release uh, Sylvester Williams, the defensive tackle we signed this offseason, which made me happy because Sylvester Williams ain't done shit all fucking season. I don't even know why we signed that dude. We could have signed a younger dude that had a lot more potential or that could have been possibly better than Sylvester Williams. But Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia is doing right, y'all. They are doing right, Pride Nation, man. I'm trying to tell you. Like I've been saying, I'm not judging Patricia until the season is over. When the season is over, I will judge Matt Patricia. I'm not judging Matt Patricia right now. Uh, we're 3-3. Three and three. We just made a trade. We got Williams, uh, 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 Harrison, for a fifth-round pick. A fifth round pick. Now I'm finna show I'm finna clip this video out and go up to the next one, but stay tuned because I'm gonna be right back. We got a we got this guy for a fifth round pick. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. I'm gonna go straight to the roster so no people don't think I edited the motherfucker or nothing like that. Manage rosters. Let's go. Look what they got that boy on. Look what they got that boy on. His strength on 93. Awareness 95. His overall is 95. He's 29 years old. He's in his prime. He's in his prime. Damon Harrison Sr. Defensive tackle. This what this this what the this what the uh New York Giants gave us for well, fifth round pick. Six years experience, fifth round pick, Damon Harris Sr. 95 overall, 29 years old. That's what the Giants gave. That's what the Giants gave us for a fifth round pick, y'all. Shout out to the Giants. Back to the video. Let's go, Damon Harris Senior. Bruh. Now, man, a fifth round pick for this dude? For this dude right here? Man, like on Madden, on Madden 19, they got most of the Lions players underrated. They got their speed low. They overalls low, they strength low, all that shit. They even got the Lions underrated on 19. You know, I play, man. I got 17, 18, 19. If you put 18 in and look at the Lions overall, then put 19 in and look at the Lions overall, they take us down. They, they keep trying to put us under the bar. That's cool, man. That's cool. They've been doing these updates, though. Like, every week they do an update. Like, they just did an update because we got Williams, uh, I mean, Harrison from the Giants. So, they did an update. This man is on 95 on the defensive line. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, New York Giants. Shout out all New York Giants fans. Shout out to the New York Giants GM and the coach. Thank you for sending that boy to the Detroit Lions to help our run defense for a fifth-round pick, which I believe we had two fifth-round picks. So, yeah, we take that one. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. This will help our defensive run, our, our run defense. This will help our run defense. Our secondary is already pretty good. Um, um, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Patrick Peterson says he wants to come to Detroit so maybe we can give up like a third-round pick, a fifth-round pick, and a fourth-round pick for Patrick Peterson, put him on the other side of Slay, have Slay, Patrick, Quandre, and Tease Tabor, and then you got Diggs and, and, and Quinn up there. Man, man. Boy, stop. Boy, boy, if we get Patrick Peterson, boy, I'm telling you, Stafford going to finally have a defense. We kind of got a defense. But, man, I'm telling y'all, man. <sighs> boy, the Giants don't know what they was doing when they gave us that, man. They don't know what the fuck they was doing when they gave us that, man, for a fifth-round pick. But thank you, Detroit Lions fans. We needed, we needed a big body on the defensive line, you know. Deshaun Hand, he coming on. He a rookie, though. He a rookie. He coming on for us, but he a rookie. So, you know what I'm saying? He doing good. Like I said, Sylvester Williams wasn't doing shit all season. He he done had six, seven weeks to do something. He ain't did shit. So, I'm glad they cut him. Um, versus Seattle, y'all. Versus Seattle, man. We got Seattle, man. Russell Wilson and the, sea, the Seahawks. The Seagirls. Now, note, they got us a three and a half point underdog. It's almost four points. 
It's like 3.59 or 3.69, something. They saying we a four-point underdog, y'all, to the, to the Seattle Seahawks. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Lions, 38. Seahawks, 31. That's my, that's, my, that's my game prediction for this upcoming game for the Lions versus the Seahawks in Detroit at Ford Field. So if you're going to be at the game, you need to be live, lit, roaring. You need to be roaring out there, motherfucking shit. We need to let the world know. Ain't, 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 ain't no turnaround from this, bro. Ain't no turnaround from this. We need, a, we need a win so we can be 4-3 and three and we'll be right there at the top of the NFC North where we need, where we need to fucking be, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I was supposed to do this video two days ago, but I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Shout out to Harrison for, uh, uh, uh. Approving the trade, you know, you got trade, you know, sometimes you can decline the trade or say you don't want to go. I appreciate you want to come play with the Honolulu Blue Boys. That black and silver, that black Honolulu Blue and Silver, that black, white Honolulu Blue and Silver. Yeah, that color rush gray. Let's go. Man. Just like they had us losing last week, all the commenters, all the uh, 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 sports analysts. All these brainwashed sports fans be listening to these people, man. Come on, man. Quit listening to these brainwashed ass people, man. They get paid to brainwash you. Don't don't allow that, man. Don't don't fall in there, man. Don't fall in there. What? Having the Lions having. Man, shout out to everybody. If you're new to the channel, check out my check out my playlist, man. I got lots of other stuff. Lots of other content on my on my motherfucking channel, man. Not just Detroit Lions shit. But shout out to you if you fuck with the Detroit Lions, even if you watch my videos and you're not a Lions fan. Shout out to you. We got the Sea Girls versus the Lion Pride in Detroit. One o'clock. Make sure you there so you can see what goes on, what transpires, if the refs try to get down on us, because every team needs help to beat my team. But you so great, but you need help and assistance. We don't need assistance. We don't want assistance. We just want a fair fucking game. Just like last week, we was playing the, <coughs> excuse me, the Dolphins. We scored a touchdown, Kenny Galladay. They call it back to try to keep the game close, to try to keep, you know what I'm saying, Miami able to be fucking with us, like compatible and shit. So when they seen, after they took that back, that touchdown back, and we got a field goal. Then we came back and scored a touchdown. When they realized that the Dolphins couldn't fuck with us, then the Zebras want to call a fair game. Then they start calling hold on the Dolphins offensive line when they was holding the first two quarters. So the NFL always do stuff to keep teams in the game versus us. If your team is so sweet, bro, your team is so sweet, why you need help, bro? Why do the Zebras and the refs got to help? Huh? Because when they do it, they know that people that's not Detroit Lions fans is going to say, oh, the Lions lost that game. They gave that game away. They shot they up in the foot. No. Tell the truth. The refs try to keep your team in the game. And you still lost. Which that happens most of the time. The referees always trying to cheat my team. So when we win, we win through the cheat. We win through the cheat more than any other fucking team. More than any other fucking team. Facts. Shout out, man. You should know one. If you ain't talking facts, go on to them other channels, man. Go on to them other wishy-washy lying to you channels, man. We truth tellers over here. All we tell is truth. We want a true, straight, fair game, and we're going to thrash that ass. We're going to thrash them boys in Detroit. You should know one. Holler at me. Let me know what y'all think the, uh, the score is going to be, man. Because I already know what's up. Just like last week, I said 34-24. It was 32-21. I was that close. I was two numbers off the lines and three numbers off the uh, Dolphins. But if the Dolphins would have made their field goal, they would have had 24 points at the end of the game. So I only would have been two numbers off, two points off. But I don't know what I'm talking about. Shout out, man, to everybody that's, that fuck with your boy. I'm out. Salute. More videos coming. Detroit, DVE, Michigan Nation. You should know one nation. You should know one fan. Stand up. Salute. Comment, like, subscribe, share. We be back with more videos. We out of here. Pride, baby. Pride, baby.